Hi, my name is Lucas Patagimis, and I am a birder from the Northeast Ohio area. For this Audubon talk, I've been asked to share a few stories about myself and a few things that I do for conservation. And I, I guess I ought to mention too that I'm standing here in one of my favorite parks in all of Northeast Ohio, Cleveland Lakefront Nature Preserve, a site that didn't exist until 1972 when the Clean Port Authority started dredging the Cuyahoga River and dumping the silt in this particular area. Since then, nature has reclaimed it and taken over. And as time went on, it turned into a spectacular park and a wonderful trap for migratory birds, namely in May and September. For a while, it was closed off to the public, but shortly thereafter, after lots of pressure from birding groups, they finally turned it into a park, held by the Port Authority and taken care of by the Clear Metro Parks. Now, a little bit about me. I got into the world of birding around June 2004, where, as a fifth grader, I attended a Sunday bird walk led by Kevin Metcalf, a famous Ohio birder that no longer lives here. But the scene takes place in North Sugar Reservation on an overlook over Buttermilk Falls. And up in a tall oak tree, he points out a beautiful crimson red bird with black wings, a scarlet tanager. And when I saw that, I thought, oh my god, you can see these beautiful tropical things in Cleveland of all places? I was fascinated. And ever since, I wanted to see more. In Ohio alone, you can see over 300 species of birds within a year, if you so desire. Some of them are common, some of them are rare. They're kind of like Pokemon except they're real, and you get to go into some fascinating places in search of them, and get some interesting adventures along the way as well. I joined the Kirtland Bird Club and the Ohio Young Birders Club, two organizations that have influenced me as a conservationist and as a birder myself in 2007, when I met Dolores Cole, then president of the Kirtland Bird Club, at North Chagrin, since I had been attending those Sunday bird walks for a while, and she asked me, would you like to go and join a small group of us down on Lake Erie in January and see about 20 different species of ducks? Now, over the course of my lifetime, at that point, I hadn't seen 20 species of ducks, let alone in one day. So I said, sure. Since then, I had found so many wonderful opportunities and, and came from being just a nature lover and a person who loved to be outdoors and perhaps later a birder into someone who wants to preserve the natural world as well. As part of the Young Birders Club, I got to travel to different parts in Ohio, which most of my friends hadn't ever seen, and got to see the beauty of it all. I am currently a third year student in law school, so although I didn't necessarily go in to uh, study birds and the natural world as a biologist, I, I think I can do the best policy-wise. This is a park where you have a lot of unique little bio areas. I mean, you have meadows further out, you have cottonwoods here, you, you have marsh areas back there. And in certain spots you stand and you think that you're super far away from any lakes or any large cities in, in the middle of the country. Not necessarily this area right here, as you can hear the lake very easily. And then in certain spots you walk out and you see all of downtown Cleveland, which is about two miles away. So. With all this change in views, whatever you feel like doing, you know, being out in the countryside or being next to a very large city, you can do either or. So this right here is one of the green markers uh, with which the surveyors led by Laura Gooch, all volunteers come through here about once or twice a week, sometimes even more, and stand for five minutes and count all the birds that are in this one area. So as you can see behind me we have Lake Erie, which in April for example, and you know starting in November, you have a ton of mergansers out there, common loons on occasion, so a, a very birdie spot for the lake when the rest of this area is a bit more quiet. So they do their five minute surveys, record everything they see, and move on to the next marker. I'm not sure exactly how many there are, but I think there are 16 or 17 such markers throughout the whole park. So you asked me on how long has this park been in existence? 
So the park itself, I believe for the past four years, has been open and accessible to the public. But this land area itself is here only since 1972, when the Clear and Port Authority dredged the Cuyahoga River and dumped the silt into this enclosure. Back in the 70s, it was a prime area to see shorebirds flying through Cleveland. Lots of rarities coming in from Europe, for some reason stopped in this particular area. Of course, that didn't last for too long because by the 1980s it was turning into uh, lots of fields and later you have woodlands forming back by the 90s and 2000s. So a dynamic environment that is constantly changing. This here is the butterfly field of Cleveland Lake for Nature Preserve. It's especially spectacular in June where you have black-eyed Susans growing everywhere and on occasion you have those little turkeys running about you know, following their parrots. I mean, a wonderful sight to see. Right now it's filled with goldenrod and some migratory monarchs. Truly a beautiful, unique area. Sometimes, closer towards late October and November, people have found some very interesting sparrows here, including Nelson Sharptails and Lacans, and clay colored, a few others that are a bit more common as well. So, a cool area to check out in the summer for butterflies and summer breeding birds, and in the fall for some of those rare sparrows. So as we mentioned before, Cleveland Lakefront Nature Preserve has several different biomes and several different settings that you can find yourself in. And walking out from a scene of pure bucolic settings of fields and the sky and feeling like you're in the interior of the Ohio rural area, you can walk out all of a sudden and see the downtown area, see a yacht club, see a bunch of sailboats out on Lake Erie. So whether you need a little bit more city in your life from a distance, or a little bit more of that rural setting, you can find both here.